hi guys good morning it's another lovely Monday morning and today we're going to be having mathematics and our topic is angles between lines well before we move on into today's topic I want us to just look at a quick riddle and I want you to try to figure out the answer and if you get it right towards the end of the class I'll tell you whether you're right or not and then I would um, hope to hear whether you got it or not okay so just look at the question and tell me or tell me what you think anyway <laughs> in your mind tell me what you think in your mind okay all right now read on me this you're in a cabin and it is pitch black you have one match on you and you want to you know bring light into that cabin it's very dark although it's a beautiful cabin <laughs> but it's very dark so which do you like first do you like light the newspaper the lamp the candle or the fire so it has a it has a fireplace do you light light the newspaper the lamp the candle or the fire so towards the end of class you know which one um is the correct answer okay so let's move on and let's get into our work for today now what i want us to quickly review angles generally before we get into angles between lines so now what is an angle an angle is the amount of turn from one line to another so you you can see we have line oa and line ob and then we we can put an angle there and name that angle angle a or b or angle b or a so the amount of turn from one line to another is what we refer to as an angle okay that is our angle now we have many types of angles based on their um, based on their uh, should I say their measurement or their magnitude we can also um, name angles based on that so we have what we call the acute angles and their angles between 0 and 90 degrees we have what we call the right angle which is 90 degrees and we have the obtuse angles which um, lie between 90 and 180 for example 125 is an obtuse angle 125 degrees we have the straight angle or half turn which is 180 degrees yeah then we have the reflex angle which is between 180 and 360 degrees it's an example of that is um, 250 degrees for example then we have the complete angle or full turn which is 360 degrees okay which is 360 degrees so that um, is a list of the types of angles we have based on that magnitude let's move on to what I want you to you know understand with me today let's see what we're going to discuss so first of all I want you to be able to use the property of adjacent angles on a straight line um, number two you want to, I want you to also know how to use the property involving vertically opposite angles and also the last but not least um, the property of angles at a point angles that meet at a point okay so let's just go quickly into angles between lines now hooray okay now we'll start with the first um, properties that we we mentioned adjacent angles on a straight line adjacent angles on a straight line adjacent angles meaning they are side by side on a straight line it's as easy as a b c and it involves a b c <laughs> okay so the sum of adjacent angles on a straight line is 180 degrees i want you to look at this line this is a horizontal line it can be vertical anyway but for this um display it's a horizontal line here and then we have a b c are side by side on this straight line so we say that a b c are adjacent angles on a straight line so a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees like i said is as easy as a b c <laughs> okay so those, that's that for adjacent angles on the straight line hold on to that hold on to that we're going to use it as we move now um let's look at vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles what are vertically opposite angles now vertically opposite angles are equal that's the property but what are vertically opposite angles now when two lines intersect you can see two lines here this line and this line now when two lines intersect they form four angles okay they form four angles now the angles that are opposite each other are said to be vertically opposite so P here is opposite Q and s here is opposite r 
is opposite R. So P equals to Q and R equals to S. So we can simply say that vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Now let's look at the next one. So keep this somewhere. We're still going to come back and use that. Let's now move on to the next one, angles at a point. Okay, so angles at a point are also equal. Angles at a point, sorry, they are they sum up to 360. <laughs> they sum up to 360. It's vertically opposite angles that are equal. Okay, so when a number of lines meet at a point, so let's look at the lines that meet at this point. So we have one, two, um, three, four, five. So we have five lines here that meet at this red point here and they form five different angles. Okay. So when these lines meet at a point, they form five angles, right? Now it can be four different lines meeting at a point. It can be three different lines meeting at a point as, you know, applicable. But whenever lines meet at a point and they form angles that also meet at the point, those angles sum up to 360 degrees. So in our case here, A plus B plus C plus D plus E sum up to 360 degrees. So A plus B plus C plus D um, plus E equals to 360 degrees. Okay, so that is that for angles at a point. Okay, now let's take some examples using these properties we've, you know, looked at. That's the adjacent angles on a straight line, vertically opposite angles, and angles at a point okay so let's take the first example find the value of a in the diagram below find the value of a in the diagram below so you can see that this diagram contains a horizontal line here and that is a straight line of course and on this straight line we have a and 150 degrees so a and 150 degrees are adjacent angles on a straight line so that gives us our uh, um, answer and we know that A plus 150 equals 180 degrees, okay? So A will be 180 minus 150 degrees, and A would be 30 degrees. It's as easy as that. So this is a very simple example, just two angles on a straight line, and then when you add them together, they should give you 180 degrees. So A here is um, 180 minus 150, which is 30 degrees. Okay, which is 30 degrees. Now let's go to another example, maybe something more, you know, something different now. So we can see that this question says we should find the value of x here. But look at this line. It's a vertical line now, but it's a straight line also. So it's a vertical line, but it's a straight line. When you say adjacent angles on a straight line, the line doesn't have to be horizontal. It doesn't have to be vertical. It can be um, inclined at an angle. It can be in any direction. As long as it's a straight line and it has adjacent angles that are on it, then it's um, that, that property is applicable. So here we have a vertical line that is straight now. And then on it, we have 30 degrees X and... 30 and 45 degrees. So let's apply the um, property. X plus 30 plus 45 is 180 degrees. So X plus 75 is 180 degrees. And X will be 180 minus 75, which will give us 105 degrees. Okay, so let's move on. Now, what about something else? Something like this. Find the missing angles in the diagram below. Now, here we have three different angles that we are to find. Now, in this particular example, I must say that there are different perspectives a person can come from or a person can use to solve this um, for these angles. Now, I'm going to show you my own um, solution and then I'll tell you about other ways that you could have, you know, possibly solved for these letters. Let's start with... K. Now, K is adjacent to 35 and 100. K, 35 and 100 are adjacent angles on this horizontal line. On this horizontal line. So, K plus 35 plus 100 equals to 180. That means that, okay, K equals to, um, K plus 30, 135 equals to 180. And that means that K equals to 180 minus 135. And so, K equals to 45. So that's easy for me to find. So I just started with K. You can start with something else if you like. Now let's go to the next one. I'm going to do 
find m now and i'm using the property that m equals k why is m equal to k now look at this m k m k they are in between this this horizontal line and this line so they are in between those two lines and they are vertically opposite they are vertically opposite each other so m equals to k because they are vertically opposite and then m equals to 45 degrees because k is 45. now let me tell you that there's another way you could have um have solved for m now look at this line look at this line again now on this straight line this is a straight line even though it's not horizontal or vertical it's a straight line and it's it has angles on it m 35 and 100 so you could have used m plus 35 plus 100 equals 180 as some of angles on the straight line and you would be correct and you would still arrive at 45 degrees so that's another way to get m now let's find the last one which is l i'm going to use the same property as this line i'm going to use this line as a straight line and i'm going to say that l and m are on this straight line underneath this straight line okay so l plus m equals 180 so we know that m is 45 so l plus 45 equals 180 remember that m was 45 from this so L plus 45 equals 180. So L equals 180 minus 45. And that simply gives us 135. Now I'm going to show you other ways that you could have solved for L. Okay, I want you to follow me now. Follow me now. Now look at this line. Look at this line. Look at this line. It's not vertical. It's inclined. Okay, so this line has L and K has adjacent angles on it okay l and k are actually adjacent angles on this line so l plus k would give you 180 so you could also have used that property to solve for l okay and you would have been correct now there's one more property you could use actually there are two more i want to tell you now l is vertically opposite the sum of these two angles 35 and 100 now look at this horizontal line and this line l is in between L and 35 plus 100 are vertically opposite angles in between those two lines. So L is opposite 100 plus 35 and that still gives you 135 because opposite, vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, the last one you could have used is angles at a point. Take note that L, M, 35, 100 and K are all angles meeting at a point. So we could have said L plus M plus 35 plus 100 plus K equals to 360 degrees. And knowing that we already had M and K, we could have found L using that method. So I want to say that there are variants of um solutions that you, you could use in this question and it may also be applicable in some other questions okay now it's left to you to pick the one that is very easy for you pick the one that is easier for you someone else could have said oh i want to use angles on a straight line it's easier for me and the person goes with that and gets the correct answer another person can say i prefer to use vertically opposite angles and that person runs with that and it's also correct another person could possibly say i want to use some of angles at a point and it would be correct so depending on the situation or the question question you're looking at as long as that um property is applicable for that question you can use it okay so it's up to you to you know choose the one that you prefer and run with it so i want you to do something for me now um, i want to see who can get this quickly okay let's be truthful okay i want to show your question now and i want you to tell me in the comment section the answer to the question and how quickly you were able to get the answer so if you were able to get it under one minute you can just put the correct answer and say one minute if you were able to get it under 30 seconds put your correct answer and say 30 seconds okay i want to see um, feedback from all of you <laughs> okay so but i'm going to solve the question so um before i solve the question you can pause the video and try it out so pause the video try it out and see if you can get the answer and then tell me if you got it tell me how many minutes or seconds it took you to solve it okay so i'm going to go ahead and explain the question the answer now 
So um, the question says, in the figure below, the angles marked X are equal to each other and the angles marked Y are equal to each other. Um, make an equation in X and Y and hence find the value of angle M O N. Angle M O N. So let's move on and let's try to do this. Okay, so first of all, you need to take note that all these angles, um, X, 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 Y, 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 are all on a straight line. Okay, you can see the horizontal line there. Okay, X, the three angles um, lettered X and the three angles lettered Y are all on the straight line on this horizontal line on that horizontal line this line this horizontal line okay so now that simply means that x plus x plus x plus y plus y plus y should be 180 degrees because we have stated previously that x um that angles on the straight line is 180 okay. they add up to 180 so that means that x plus x plus x here plus y plus y plus y should also give us 180 based on our property so this here is 3x plus 3y equals 180 okay it's as simple as that okay so now we can say that that is our equation in x and y but the second part of the question says that we should find m o n but i want you to note that m o n is equal to x plus y let's look at m this is m this is O and this is N. Now, in between M, O, N, we have X and a Y here. X and Y here. So the total angle between M and uh, O, N is X plus Y. Okay, so M, O, N is X plus Y. Okay, so but we know that 3X plus 3Y is 180, right? Let's bring up 3. So 3 into X plus Y. 3 is common to both X and Y here. So 3 into X plus Y equals 180. If we divide with by 3, we should have X plus Y equals 180 over 3. So X plus Y equals to 60 degrees. Now, what does that mean? It means that angle M O N equals to 60 degrees. So like I said, if you were able to get this question um, correctly, send me a message in the comment section and tell me the time, how long it took you to get the question correctly. Okay, so that's that for um, this part of uh, our topic. Okay, okay, okay. We've been saying so many th things today. I want us to just take a quick summary of everything that we have looked at today. Okay, I want us to look at a summary of everything we've looked at today. Okay, so I'll be asking you questions that you would answer in your mind anyway, and then you see if you're correct. So as I said, angles on a straight line sum up to what? Okay, I heard you say 180 degrees. That's correct. <laughs> okay, now um, the next thing we're going to look at is, the next question will be vertically opposite angles. What can you say about vertically opposite angles? Okay, I hear you. I can hear you say uh, they're equal. Did you say that? Yes, you're correct. Vertically opposite angles sum up. Um, they are equal, sorry. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, so the last question, angles at a point. Mm, angles at a point sum up to what? Okay, I'm listening. What are you saying? If you said 360, you are correct. So, angles at a point sum up to 360 degrees. I want you to make a part with me that you're going to remember this. Um, three properties that we have um, listed out today and discussed today so that you know in our next class if we need to build up on this you would be able to you know recollect and apply these um, questions these um, properties to questions okay so I want you to look at um, something I want you to do for me just to solidify your knowledge I want you to try to find the angles P Q R S and T in this questions that you can see on your screen okay so try to get pqrs and t if you're able to get pqrs and t you can send the um answers in the comment section just type them out and let me know what you you know obtained you can pause the video if you want to try it out now you can just pause the video and you know solve them and just leave a comment in the comment section that okay p is this q is this r is this s and t and also, 
this is optional you know you can visit quizzes.com and try to just solve some questions there on angles if you see some questions on angles just try to solve those questions and you know um, also tell me if you were able to get them right okay so remember that I would be expecting feedback from you you know if you don't understand one or two things you need further explanations on them you could let me know you could let me know and then if you enjoy the class you could also let me know remember to like the video share to your friends and don't forget to hit subscribe for weekly updates okay let's get to the answer for our riddle <laughs> let's get to the answer for our riddle let's see okay and we're going to figure out if you got it right or not <laughs> okay so the question was um you are in a cabin and it is pitch black you have one match on you which do you like first the newspaper the lamp the candle or the fire in the fireplace okay i i i i i do not know if you got this right or not but let me just review the answer now okay okay the answer is the much <laughs> so if you said the newspaper i'm sorry you were wrong if you said you would light the lamp well that's not correct if you said you would light the candle or the fire you were not correct also the simple answer is the match for you to light any of those things of course you have to light the match first <laughs> so it was a trick question actually it was a trick question so if you got this right thumbs up super 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 thumbs up to you and i hope you had um, a lovely class i hope if you're asked to repeat any of this um properties that we've discussed today to anyone you should be able to go on and teach them what you have also learned today so i will see you again same time same day next week and i hope you continue to have a lovely 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 day bye